Hey everyone, Anya Seo Yerebund. I'm back with another video. So it's probably going to be a two part video, but by the end of it, we'll have made an app in which you can add filters to photos. So let's just get right into it. First thing, uh, we'll be using CI filters, core image filters. So let's have a look at the Apple documentation for that. Right? So I've already opened this up. Let's just do it from the beginning again. Apple developer documentation. You click here. When you reach this page, let's go to core image. And then if you scroll all the way down, then you have this over here, core image filter reference. And that's the place where you need to be. So over here, you have all these uh, options given by Apple. And you can use these to add filters. So in this video, we're going to be making an app in which you'll be using two of these filters. So let's just create a new Xcode project. Single view app. Next, let's call it filter app. Make sure that Swift is selected over here and the user interface is storyboard. Next. Let's just save it in desktop. Okay. Okay. Now in main or storyboard, I'm going to Let's just change that to iPhone 8. I'm just more comfortable using the previous versions. Yeah. Now we go to iPhone 8. Okay. Now let's bring a navigation control over here. Navigation. Or alternatively, you can also just embed it in the navigation control from here. But I just prefer using this version. Navigation controller. We don't need any of this. So let's just delete that. Just delete that one too. navigation controller there you go it's embedded and make sure that navigation controller is set as the initial view controller over here let me make this full screen okay now let's bring in a bar button item and we'll make this choose photo Then in order to display the image, let's bring in an image view and make it a bit larger than that. Okay, looks good. Then let's add a button for our first filter. Let's just make this um, sepia. So I'd gone through the Apple developer documentation audio and there was a CPI filter over there. So we'll, we'll be using that in this app. And let's just connect these to the view controller now. So first of all, we'll be needing an IB outlet for the image view. So I'd say IB outlet bar. I'll just call it image view and that is a UI image view. Then we need an ID action for the choose photo button, ID action func choose photo. And then one more for apply CPR. So another IB action. Okay, 
Now let's connect those. Now select control and click that and that bring that here. So image view and select this control, click it and bring it to the view controller and under send actions, connect it to choose photo. Now for sepia, let's connect it to apply sepia in the same way. Now in the view controller, they should all be connected. Looks good. Now we'll need an We'll, we'll be needing a variable for the image. So var original is a UI image. And that is an optional. Then we'll be needing to import some stuff over here just so that the remaining program can go on smoothly. So let's just add that over here. Image picker controller delegate. And then we'll be needing a UI navigation controller delegate. So there it is. Okay. Now we need to select the photo. So let's add a few comments. Choose the photo. Apply sepia filter. So let's just bring the photo first. Now, if UI image picker view controller has the source type, the source type available from the photo library of the phone, then we have to select the photo. Right? So let's do that. Let picker be a UI image picker controller. So this will help us select the photo. And then picker dot delegate. We just have to set the delegate to self. And then we can set the source type to photo library. So the if statement just checked if photo library is available. And now we're going to set the source to the photo library. Picker dot source type equals dot photo library. Then finally, the navigation controller just has, to, just has to present this photo library. So, since navigation controller is a optional, we need to add that question mark and then present picker animated can be set to true or false as you want, and then nil because we don't want any other function to be called after this. Okay, now once that's done, we can apply the sepia, right? So for that, we need to first check if we have the Im image. But we don't have that yet, so first we need to get that. So over here, let's say get image. And then there's a function for did finish picking media with info. So let's do that. Did finish. Uh, yep, yeah, that's the one. This should be set to any. Yep, that's already done. So let's dismiss the navigation controller first. Not dismiss. Not the navigation controller, like picker which is called from the navigation controller so true and we don't want anything to be called automatically so no now if let image info ui image picker controller delegate oh wait not delegate we don't need the delegate here dot info key dot original image as UI image then image view dot image equals image so over here we okay let me just add one more thing and then I'll explain it original equals image okay 
So over here, what we're doing is we're making a variable called image, which will be storing the image that was picked from the picker. And then the image view is being set to that image and the original image that we made over here also gets that same image. So now we have obtained that image, so we can apply the filter. To apply the filter, first we'll be needing something called CI context. So let's have a look at this first. Where is CI? Okay. So something I had seen in the documentation was that you need to use CI context. We need to make a variable for that first. So I'll just make a I'll just bring that in first. Let context equals CI context. This won't be changing, so I just made a let rather than making it var. Okay, so this is just required according to the documentation. Now let's make a filter. So let filter be equal to CI filter. And the name of the filter has to be CI sepia tone, this exact wording. So name has to be CI sepia tone. Okay. So now this filter is an optional, right? If you see this question mark over here, that means that it's an optional. So we'll be needing to add a question mark over there and we have to set the values of it. Now if you see here, then there is one input image that we need to set and an input intensity, right? So let's put the input intensity first. Set value 1.0 and then the key will be K CI input intensity key. Okay, so let's just do that. I'm just going to copy that K CI input intensity. Okay, I'm just going to make that I. This one has to be a capital. Remember that input intensity key. Okay, and then we need to display that. So filter dot set value. Wait, that's not right. Set value. Is there a CI image option over here? Okay, we can just do it this way. CI image and then image original so this only takes in a ci image form so we need to use it in that particular form and now we also need to add this over here because it may not be there and then the string over here is the key right so it's the same as this thing just that instead of input key it's the input image so k c i input image key and let's make an output let output be equal to filter dot output image so the filter returns this image and then we set that to the image view now the image view takes in a UI image but the output image is a CI image so we need to convert that image view dot image equals to UI image CG image. So this whole time we're just converting the CI image into a UI image. Self dot context dot create CGI image. A CGI image can be automatically converted into a UI image form. So that's why we're converting it to CG image. From output Okay.
Now the problem over here is that what if the image has not been entered yet? Okay, what there's some problem over here. So okay, yeah. now we're good. So what if the image, the original image, has not been set yet? So for that we need to check if there is an original image, and only then we can apply the filter. So let's do that. If original equals nil, then we we'll just drop everything and leave. Return. Okay. So let's just try that out. So now let's choose photo. Okay. Then um, let's just select this photo. Now it's been set as the UI image of the image view, and then let's apply CPR. Hmm. that's interesting I think the size is a bit too big so you can go ahead and make it a bit smaller in the storyboard but let's just choose a different photo hopefully one that's smaller I don't know if that sizing is right either but I would okay yeah, this one worked but I would recommend making this a bit smaller so that it doesn't twist and turn it down like that and also setting the fit to spec fill but as you see the filter worked and we can do the same thing with other filters as well so we'll be doing that in part 2